r slash credit by planet reddit what's the weirdest thing people get offended by someone just doing their job no you can't use that coupon that's been expired since 1971 i can't believe how rude that cashier was worked in a clothing store that would send ten dollars off 25 dollars coupons occasionally for obvious reasons, you can only use them once, so we were told to rip them up and throw them away after scanning them. The anger that would fill the old lady's faces when I ripped that coupon in half and threw it in the garbage after scanning it was scary. Once, a customer angrily demanded that I give her the coupon back so she could use it again, so I scribbled on it with a black sharpie and gave it to her with a have a nice day. I really shouldn't be in customer service. I once had a lady get upset when my co-worker threw a used coupon into the garbage behind her register. The lady leaned over to watch her do it, then pointed it out to me telling me to get the coupon out so she could use it. Lady, not only does this store practically shower coupons on you like confetti through mailers, in-store flyers, and a website that almost always has a scannable coupon, but we even accept competitors' coupons. It would take almost nothing for you to find a discount on your phone. No, I'm not digging in the trash for you. I'm betting Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Reminds me of a time I worked for a hotel, where we had a customer is always right policy until they realized people will bitch and moan until we broke down and decide to give them a room for free. The policy went from customer is always right to how can we make it right. I think you invalidating the coupons is a good move on your part because it should never resort to the customer is always right even when they're wrong. Ah, memories of working at a store that had that, along with no win outcomes from management. I'm sorry sir that battery is can only be prorated at this point, you'll be able to get $23 off a new one but not a full replacement. Customer throws fit, manager arrives, gives full replacement. Manager, why did I need to be called back here? You should know when to give leeway to keep a customer happy. I'm sorry sir this battery is just out of full warranty, it's able to be prorated to take $80 off of the new one. Customer throws fit, I override policy for full replacement. Manager why are you giving away items just because a customer doesn't agree with our policy, this is why profits are down and there won't be bonuses this quarter. Asking people what they think then getting upset when people tell them what they think. My dad used to always, always do this. I even started telling him that I didn't want to get into it because he always got upset, and he'd swear he wouldn't this time and insist. Then it would always end up with him becoming upset. Every time. Your dad sounds like a five year old. In the end he was. He had dementia and that makes people a lot like children. Oh I'm really sorry if I seemed rude or stepped out of line there. I just thought he was just immature with criticism. No worries man, you didn't know. Sorry for all the trauma below. He acted this way before and after the dementia. His life is a long story. Standing up for yourself within reason. People will forever get offended for no longer being able to take advantage of you, and they act like that's the weird part. My girlfriend had a friend that constantly demanded favors of her. I say friend, because it was a classic one-sided relationship. Her friend was quite mentally ill, but she used it as an excuse for her poor behavior. My girlfriend had known her a very long time so didn't want to seem rude by cutting the friendship off. What I noticed about her friend, is that her friends weren't really her friends, they were more like minions or yes people, a bit like Crab and Goyle in Harry Potter. She didn't have genuine close friendships like most people do. She only hung out with them because they did stuff for her. She didn't like friends that rocked the boat, in other words, that didn't obey every word she said. Once my girlfriend started standing up for herself, this friend started to say you're no longer cool and just kept on calling my girlfriend rude names. My girlfriend didn't give in though, by then she had seen that her friend was just trying to manipulate her. Eventually her friend just found another yes person. Kudos to your girlfriend for being able to say no. A lot of people are like this unfortunately.
I have known a few people like this in my lifetime, and they're absolutely draining. They think that loyalty equals obedience and if you don't comply with what they want or if your needs don't align with theirs, then you're a bad friend and unreliable, disloyal, etc. I have family members who I've said yes to all my life and only recently I've begun to say no and distance myself while setting boundaries. One of them blocked me for it. I gotta say, I love the freedom of kicking these kind of people out of your life. Passing them in traffic. I recently got a car with cruise control and I was able to test a theory I always had. Do people actually go faster when I pass them or do I unconsciously slow down? Now if I think someone is speeding up I put on CC and keep the speed constant and watch people sail past me like their families on their is on the line. People also drive proportional to the perceived sportiness of the vehicle. Slowly pass someone in a 90 Camry, maybe they'll speed up, maybe they won't care. Slowly pass someone in a bright red Corvette. You become magnetic and everyone you pass will either pace you or try to pass you. Driving a Prius in Oklahoma was a nightmare. I drive pretty fast and guys with big ass trucks would use half a tank of gas trying to keep up, then be ridiculously aggressive about cutting in front of me. I get it buddy, you got your first job in the oil industry and immediately spent $50,000 on a truck worth $35,000 with a 24% interest rate. We're all in awe of you and your powerful, lifted truck lol. This is so perfectly Oklahoma chef's kiss. Others tastes and interests. Music, video games, movies, etc. You're not on your 4-3 watch of The Office yet? What an ignorant slut. Edit, wow 2k likes and a silver. Thanks y'all. You all deserve a gold medal in Flonkerton and in my heart. As a metalhead I get this a lot, but you ain't seen nothing until you get metal elitists talking about other metal. As a metalhead, I'm here to say that metalheads are the worst. Yeah, there can be some weird infighting. I just saw an argument today on YouTube, somebody was calling Freedom Call a pop band because their new stuff is too happy, so somebody called Cannibal Corpse Emo Edgelord Punks, then someone called Sabaton a bunch of skinheads, and it united everyone immediately against him, except one other guy, and it was those two against dozens of angry metalheads. I'm in the US South and I'm arm and sir pretty much every stranger I come across in the wild. It's just what I've grown up with and is meant as being respectful. We get a lot of tourists and occasionally I'll mom a woman and she'll flip thinking I'm calling her old and if I sir some guy they'll think it's like a sarcastic challenge. On the flip side, any locals who you don't mom and sir will get offended, so I'm in a pickle every tourist season. Living in constant fear of mams and sirs. This same situation happened to me when I was traveling through Spain. I called a younger woman the Spanish equivalent of mom and she went off. Had to explain I wasn't from there etc. Now please just tell me where I can find my train gracias. It's so hard to judge. I was doing miss for a little bit but it felt too forced, like I was Carl Sanders or a 50s detective. Edit, to to two. I was at a small grocery market and I said excuse me miss to a little old cotton top, probably 50 years my senior, whose cart was blocking my path. She went off, in a good way, saying she hadn't been called that in 20 years. I told her my wife had taught me well. It would have been a nice wholesome encounter but then the old bird started following me around the aisles trying to chat me up at every opportunity. Eventually I abandoned my cart and bolted for the exit. I'll never forget her face as she saw me sneaking out the side door. Hearing something in a different language. Seeing people flip out on someone else having a private conversation in another language always confused me. Why are you eavesdropping in the first place? Usually it's the insecure people that flip out that think everyone is talking about them. I may unintentionally stare or listen as it's not common to hear another language around here and I find it interesting. 
I one was speaking in English to my then eight or nine year old cousin. I'm not native English. She's dot another relative complains I'm not speaking in my native language. It would be somewhat reasonable except that same relative speaks a third language Spanish all the time. Mixes bow my native language and Spanish. Long story short, people are weird. As a short person, I'm offended. When you say no to what they asked from you. Asking was a formality, they were telling. Then they should have told instead of asking. I depends on the context. If your boss asks you to do something they're telling you to do it and asking is just more polite than telling you directly. Similar things apply for a parent to a child or a teacher to a student. If your neighbor asks if you can mow his lawn when you do yours and you say no and they proceed to blow up at you that's a different story and they're an asshole. My boss asks me to do stuff in addition to the list I had. It's just civility. Now, when acquaintances ask me for something, and I say no, and they get mad because they didn't think I would or could say no. Yeah, we've gone into asshole territory, and I'm not above telling someone that asking me to do something is just that, asking. And I reserve the right to say no, and if you're butt hurt by that, that's your problem, and it makes me dig in my heels even more. When I say I don't want children, it is my decision to make and people should accept that. I've had so many people tell me that I'll change my mind. I decided when I was 12 that I didn't want kids. It's been 20 years, and I haven't changed my mind. I can't think of a worse instance to raise a child than when the parent doesn't want them around and just resents them for taking up so much time, energy, and money. Why would anyone think that's a good environment for a kid? And then they'll say but you'll love them when they're here. And like, that's such bullshit. Maybe I would, but the greater chance based on my personality and previous experiences would indicate that I will not enjoy it at all. I'm not bringing life into this world on a maybe, that's not fair to them and it's especially not fair to me. I'll stick to adopting cats to love and nurture, thanks very much. They think we shouldn't get offended when we get told you'll change your mind, but geez, try to say that same sentence to someone who actually wants to have kids. Suddenly it's a horrible thing to say. I'm atheists and my mom is Catholic. One day she told me that she hopes I change my mind and become religious. I said I hope she'll change her mind and become atheists. She gave me a look like I just shit in her bed. If it's okay for one side, it's okay for the other. Same same. Don't have kids, don't want kids. The reasons people try to give me to change my mind are crazy. But you're a woman. Your mom, deceased, would have wanted you to have one. But what about when you get old? It's selfish not to. Don't you want a little you running around? Aren't you lonely? Being a woman that doesn't want children doesn't make me defective. I just know what I want and what I don't, damn it. Thank you for supporting Planet Reddit. I love you. Subscribe for 3 videos a day.